If Honestly. I don't like something, I'm going to let them know, and I've told them before in the past I didn't like certain things, and we're still on good terms. And Sandy actually has no filter, and she'll give you her honest opinion regardless. This so, is true. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to the Supplement Engineer channel. My name is Robert Chinetsky, and with me as always is my lovely wife, Sandra. Hey. How are you today, Sandra? I'm good. Great. And we're about to be even better because we are going to taste test two protein powders from Apollon Nutrition up in New Jersey, headed by Robert Samborski, a badass MMA martial arts uh, practitioner and competitor. That's cool. That's so, really cool, actually. Yeah. We've got two flavors of their 50-50 Formula X protein, and so the reason it's called 50-50 Formula X is that it is a 50-50 protein blend mm. of both whey protein isolate and micellar casein. So the reason you're going to want a blend of proteins, not the reason you would want one, but why would they go with one? Sure is the fact that there is some research indicating that a blend of proteins okay. has shown uh, superior muscle protein synth synthesis and lean mass gains compared to supplementing with whey protein alone in resistance trained individuals. That's interesting. So the reason for that is that whey protein isolate on its own has very high leucine content. Okay. And leucine is the anabolic trigger of muscle protein synthesis, which maximizes the mTOR pathway in the body leading to increased muscle protein synthesis and more muscle gains. So it would seem as though I should only need that. Why do I need the micellar casein? Because casein gives a pro, it's a very slow digesting protein. So it takes up to eight hours to digest. So leucine spikes protein synthesis in the okay. body and then the amino acids are cleared fairly rapidly from the body. Casein in the digestive process provides a long-lasting elevation of muscle protein synthesis. So by combining the high power of leucine with the slower sustained release of casein, you get a more prolonged anabolic effect in the body. So can I ask you a stupid question? Yeah. So if this is better in mm -hmm. some studies, then why would I ever do a non-blend? Why wouldn't I just like always do there, the There's, because some people, they, I mean, for every study, you can always find a study to back up a certain okay. point. Okay, but okay, I mean, those are two of the reasons why you would go into this study too. Plus, whey protein on itself is not as satiating some things. Oh. Since casein takes longer to digest, it's oh. in the stomach longer. It forms those little kind of curdles in your stomach that makes you feel a little bit fuller. Okay. That's why the old bodybuilders used to eat a lot of cottage cheese before they would go to bed because it's high in casein and it would protect you from going catabolic Didn't know that either. in the middle of the night. So yeah. All right, cool. So um, let's... Yeah, let's, we'll break this down. What are the flavors? We have wild strawberry and mm. peanut butter cookie. I'm excited about the peanut butter cookie. I have had strawberry before and it's not my favorite, but I will give it a try and tell you how I Yes, and feel. if you want to see her previous reaction on a strawberry taste, go check out our Steel Fit Way Below, which will be linked down below and I'll put a little notification thing up here on the screen or something somewhere. Um, we have peanut butter cookie, which is one of their newer flavors released, I think in October, November of last year. That's exciting. And strawberry, I've had a tub of this strawberry before. Oh. And it is wonderful. Okay. I really enjoyed it. Okay. I um, haven't. So yeah. So okay. as usual, we're going to weigh out the tubs. Um, Apollo sent us these tubs. This is not a paid for review. All the other disclaimer bullshit that we all got to do every other time in here. Um, not a paid for review. And I know Robbie very well. He's a friend of mine. I would consider him a friend. Um, we've consulted before on a few projects together. But still, if Honestly. I don't like something, I'm going to let him know. And I've told him before in the past I didn't like certain things. And we're still on good terms. And Sandy actually has no filter. And she'll give you her honest opinion regardless. This so, is true. Yes. All right, ready? We're Let's weigh it out. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to weigh out the peanut butter cookie flavor. Woo! Which is going to have 33 grams per scoop and 28 servings per container, which is going to be 924 grams of total product. 924. So a freshly sealed tub. Freshly sealed tub with some guy on the front. Is that Robbie? That is Juan Diesel Morel, one of their IFBB Pro sponsored athletes. How cool. He has a cartoon after him. He what does. A cartoon of me. And this is his favorite protein powder, so I think he goes through something like two or three tubs of this stuff a month. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good when you just open it. It smells like a freaking mm. peanut butter cookie. I Rob really want a peanut butter cookie now. Robbie, where is my scoop? Where is my scoop, I Robbie? You, I guess if you just dump it out. Damn it. All right, so we're looking for... 924. We're looking for 924. Oh, I found the scoop. Okay. All right, scoop. We're at 936 now with the scoop in there. Let's see what we're at now. Ooh, he gave us extra. We got four extra grams of protein. It smells so good. Awesome. All right, well, we have a scoop now, a single scoop. We'll zero this out, and we're looking for 33 grams. I love, by the way, that the serving is a whole number. I hate it when they say something like 22.8 grams. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, so we've got a ginger scoop here. Gingerly, lightly packed scoop. 
and 28. So Ooh. you can feel free to really cram it in there okay. and pack it in, Let's and you'll have in. your full scoop. Okay. Okay. So 33. Yes. All right. Put it back. All right. I guess we should do strawberry first. Yeah. Now, in going through with these, we're going to go over the macros real quick for these. And much like you've seen with Nutribios proteins and a few others, uh, pollen's protein is fully disclosed, meaning it's not going to only give you that, but it's going to tell you how much it's going to break down exactly how much yield you're getting from the oh, whey good. protein isolate and the micellar casing. So in this scoop we've got of strawberry, we've got 130 calories, okay. three That's grams good. of fat, three grams of carbohydrate, less than one gram of sugar, 24 grams of protein. Now this is going to supply 12.5 grams of whey protein isolate and 11.7 grams of micellar casing. Okay. Okay. And then the other ingredients that we have in here are whey protein isolate, instantized micellar casing, sunflower oil, guar blunt, sorry, gum blend of cellulose gum, xanthan gum, and carrageenan. We've got natural and artificial flavor, beet powder, sucralose, and ace K. So in this one, you don't have any artificial colors, but it's that. gonna be a bright pink because, because of the, the beet. beet powder, right? That's so cool, that's cool. That is that. So in each of these, we're gonna get a total of 24 grams of protein. Okay. I like that it's on the lower calorie end. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. It's a lean protein. All right, I'm excited. I'm most excited about the peanut butter cookie. So let's try the strawberry first. I like that there's no artificial colors. I think it's so weird when I'm drinking a bright whatever. And it's so pink, but it's not super pink. Right, super pink. And then this is a nice peanut buttery milk. Yeah. Looks like peanut butter cereal it milk does, or something. Yeah. So. Oh, it smells really good too. All I'm right. excited. What do you think of with wild strawberry? When I say that flavor, I think uh, I think of a bunch of wild strawberries. No, I imagine like a commercial of strawberries and, and like that are rinsed, freshly rinsed, and mm -hmm. they're just like falling. So that's what I'm imagining. It's like strawberries. I'm really hoping it tastes like a strawberry. Okay, we mix this up in nine ounces of water. The package that's says super thick. six to twelve ounces, and so this is already pretty thick. And I've mixed this up before in six ounces, and it is almost sludge like at six ounces. So we put nine ounces. Nine in. ounces. Um. So yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells really yeah. good. Fresh, fresh strawberries, not artificial strawberries, which is good. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. What do you think? Hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes a little chalky aftertaste. Yeah, is it's going to be the, the, the thick mouth coating kind of feel from the casing. It's going to have that kind okay. of coating-ish kind of texture. So it definitely has a coating texture, but I definitely get strawberry. And I don't get anything ridiculously sweet. It's nothing too candy. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is? No, I think I think the after finish is cleaner strawberry. The front half, mm -hmm. the front taste is very creamy. Right. Um, the finish is a is a fresh fruit strawberry taste. So that's interesting how that. It's finishes. so creamy. I'm surprised that the flavor isn't called strawberry cream. Mm -hmm. Instead of wild it's, strawberry. Yeah, like wild strawberry. I was just expecting a strawberry flavor, like a strawberry slushy. But this tastes more like creamy. Strawberry. I would almost change the name to like strawberries and cream yeah. and not change anything of the ingredients, but yeah. it's creamy strawberry. Okay. Okay. All right. I like it enough to keep sipping it. That's a big deal. That's a good thing. That's a big compliment. Yeah. Go back I'm and check the, the other fan. review to see how our reaction was for that not strawberry. Not the biggest fan of strawberry. <laughs> that was strawberry milkshake though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Peanut butter cookie. This what do you think of with peanut butter cookie? I want to eat a peanut butter cookie. That's what I want. No, really. That's what I want. I want to eat a peanut butter cookie. I like cookies. It smells exactly like a peanut butter cookie. I love it because it's not just peanut butter. Peanut butter cookies have a different smell. Well, explain explain that because I didn't have a lot of peanut butter cookies growing up as a kid. I was like an Oreo and chocolate. So it's like it's crumbly. Uh -huh. It's like the most beautiful thing. And usually someone will take like a fork and make like a like a crisscross applesauce like marking on the top. I don't know why, but it just makes it better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh my god, it smells it smells like a cookie. You smell that? That's that's the cookie. Oh, that's this, the cookie. This smells like those. Old man peanut butter bars that you would buy at the gas station, the white one with the white rectangles with the black stripes on it. I know them. what he's saying, but it doesn't. It smells like There's, a cookie if you've ever had one. No, it smells like that candy. I never had the cookie, so. Oh, and it tastes just like peanut butter cookie. I highly recommend if you like. I keep wow. saying it over and over again, I feel bad. But if you like peanut butter cookie, oh my god, it tastes exactly the same. Great, great flavor and great name. Great, great, great Damn. job. Wow. Mm. Um. Yeah. That's so good. Wow. That is so good. Okay, I highly recommend the peanut butter cookie. I understand why that dude eats it why, all. Why it goes through three cups of those ones? It's not that the wild strawberry is not bad. She said this one is that good. If you like peanut butter cookie. It's that. I think it's that much better than the strawberry. The strawberry is, like is really, really good. The peanut butter is outstanding. It tastes like a medium cookie. It's great. Um, 
That is something I could drink every day. Uh, the strawberry, I've, I've gone through the tub of strawberry before. I don't drink it on its own. I go through it using... Um, you mix it with yogurt, right? Yogurt at night, yeah. Which makes sense. That would probably be really good in yogurt. It's good with that because like it's cold cream. enough to, to stand up to the yogurt and mm -hmm. still give you that strawberry one in your like strawberry ice cream. Cereal and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the peanut butter is something I would I want to drink on its own. It's, it's amazing. It's really good. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, Highly recommend. Man. So I'm good. Make some peanut butter protein cookies. With I want you to actually give me some peanut butter cookies. Oh, no, I don't because I have this. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, similar to what we've tried to do with all the other brands, we are got a special discount code with Apollon just for you. Again, we're not making any commission off of this. Um, this is just our way of saying thank you to watching this channel. Um, and so if you're curious about any of Apollon's products, including their 600 milligram pre-workout cool again, uh, yes, that is very high, highly caffeinated pre-workout. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah, that's like six cups of coffee if you ever want that much. Do I think you need that much pre-workout? No, but there's stim junkies out there that like that stuff. So if you're interested in checking out Apollo and stuff, you can use the code Apollo 10 to save 10% on any of their products. Um, thank you to Robbie and the gang for sending all of this out again to us. Um, yeah, peanut butter cookie is so good. Monster. Thank you so much. Phenomenal. Yay. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.